Hi everyone, it's Elise from Kit and Clouder and today I'm going to be sharing with you a video on how I colour sky and clouds. So the image that I'm using today is by Crafty Sentiments and I'll pop the links for her below so you can go and grab her. Now the first step when colouring sky and clouds is that I like to section off my image. So you can see I've drawn just a really light outline around the image in pencil and I've left a bit of room around her so I can extend the grass up in the, the sky as well. So basically where I've drawn the lines is where I'll be cutting the image once I've finished colouring her. And the reason I don't cut her at the start is when you're doing the sky I like to flick past the lines so you get a really nice blend. So go ahead and section out your image first. And then the next thing I do is I put in the outline for the clouds. So I grab CO is the colour I use here to do the outline. And basically what I do is I get my pen and I just really lightly draw in the shape of the cloud. If you don't know what shape to do it, um, I'd suggest looking at some pictures on Google. It should help with the shapes. So I just go ahead over the whole image and pop in where I want the clouds. I always do the clouds up the top bigger and then as, as it sort of, um, I get closer down to the ground, I start to taper off the clouds. And I'm just doing a really light, just touching my marker to the paper. And adding some really thin wispy ones towards that horizon line. Now I get my same marker and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to darken up around the base. So this is where the shadows are for your clouds. And again looking at pictures on Google will help and you can um, try and mimic what it's like in real life or you can sort of make it up. I'm just making it up and hoping it works out okay. And I'm doing all this again in my lightest colour that I'll be using just in case I make a mistake and it's not that hard to fix it up. And when I'm darkening the top parts up here, you can see I've darkened that crease. So what I'm doing is showing that this part of the cloud is sitting forward from that part there. So you're getting a little bit of texture. And don't worry about being too neat with it either. Okay, I'm then going to go in and darken those clouds up. And I'm going to grab my C3. Okay, so I'm just going to go, just doing really light flicks along the bottom of the cloud. I'm not doing too much of this, but don't worry if it looks too dark because you do blend a lot of it out. And another thing to keep in mind, how you do the clouds will influence how the weather looks in the picture as well. So that's why it's always good to look at a, a picture and get a good idea of what you're trying to achieve if you're trying to do something a little bit different. I'm not really bringing the shadow to the top either. I'm just leaving that quite light. So the bottom of my clouds will be the darkest. I might do a little bit of shading around her head as well. The next colour that I use is C2. I don't actually own C1 so you can use either C2 or C1 and I'm just blending it out really lightly but again because I'm using C2 and it's a little bit darker I'm not extending the colour very far. It's more sort of just to get a really nice blend and starting to gradiate the texture through the clouds.
And then going in with B60, so I'm adding a little bit of purple to the cloud. And I'm not extending it too much further. And now I'm grabbing my W0 and I'm just blending out that color a little bit more. So I've done something a little bit different with my clouds. I like to play with the color a lot. As in the sky, you've got the sun and depending on the weather and there's a lot of different factors which can influence the color of the clouds. So you can just play with them and you can really just do whatever sort of greys, grey tones that you like to do and pop in, you can even pop in bits of pink if it's closer to sunset or you can just sort of play around a little bit more with it. Now I'm getting my C0 and I'm blending out a little bit more but still making sure to keep some areas of the cloud white. My C0 is almost empty, so it's not really laying down much ink. Alrighty, well, I'm happy with how those cloud, clouds are for now. So I'm going to work on the sky. I'm dra uh, grabbing my BG quadruple zero. And I'm just, when I do this, I actually leave a little bit of white around that bottom. Just really lightly draw that in. And then I'm just going to flick out. And again, this is why we draw the square around the image. So you're extending that color past the line of where you're going to cut it. So that means that you're not going to get a hard line where your marker ends. And whenever I'm doing scenes, I always do the sky first before I do the grass, just because um, you don't want to pull any of the green into the sky from the grass. And I do extend it quite low as well because the grass sits above the ground, so you would get a little bit of sky peeking through anyway. And it's important to make sure that your blues are really nice and juicy with ink so you don't run out halfway through. It's happened to me more than once. <laughs> Just work on really long strokes at the top because you don't have anything like the clouds breaking it up. I've then got my BG triple zero. I'm just going to darken up sort of like around her and pull it sort of in like a flicking motion. The sky is never really a flat colour, so you can just have a bit of a play around and, and what works best for you. If you get any of the blue onto your image, I wouldn't really worry so much about it. It's really light anyway, so when you go over the top of it with your darkest markers, it should still be okay.
now I'm just going to go back over the top with my BG triple zero. Sorry, my BG quadruple zero. Just going to blend out the darker colour that we put on really lightly. Just really soft feathering strokes. I don't like to make the sky too dark, um, especially when colouring these smaller stamps as you still want your character to be the focus and I think if you're darkening up your sky a little bit too much then the character sort of blends in a bit with the background. But You can darken it up and just experiment with what colours you prefer for your style. I'm just going and adding a little bit of texture underneath the clouds. A little bit more, this is my B triple zero. It just adds a little bit of movement to the sky. Alrighty, so that's the sky and clouds done. If you've got any questions, please just let me know. Thank you for watching.